What you do? Why? What's up with you? Y'all ready for the beach, nigga? Whenever you ready, nigga, I'm ready. Feeling it right now. So is uh. Oh, it's 
burning up. My body burning up. Like get that adrenaline rush popping. Yeah, I hit a couple of them. A couple of them. You see them stills, them. You know, you do, uh, you be on the pole and then you be like still on that. That right there, you, you gotta be strong to do that. Let me show you again, though. You be up there, just hold up there for a while. I just, I just start getting stronger. Now. Strong to do that shit. Watch on YouTube when I was doing that shit for like five minutes, ten minutes. I'm gonna do some more of these uh what's with them over here. Oh my phone don't drop. See the water down there? The water serious. I mean, if you fall in that one, you're done. Sweating on that shit. What's good with you? I'll do some dips right quick.
the key to it. You ain't gotta do a whole lot. I don't think you get lost there. Especially you just trying to lose the weight. You ain't trying to be no bodybuilder or nothing. Trust me. It's way hard. Good with you, Lonnie. Yeah, fam. All I'm doing, all you gotta do, fam, is just find your bar, man. Then you can do whole body shit. Just go to the park. Take your kids to the park, and you see a, you know, say you see a bar or something like that. Go. Yeah. Man, you know, you can't do no pull-ups. You can't do one pull up. Just start hanging on the bar. That's what I first thing I was I should have did when I first started. But I was just I was trying to pull up on the bar. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hang on it. If you can hang on it long enough. And then eventually you'll be able to learn how to pull up on the bar. So what you have to do is this, you have to do it like this. You gotta hang on the bar. Start on the bar like that, start hanging on it, then you straight. Then you start learning that. When you start learning that, then you'll start, then you'll start uh, be able to do pull-ups. 
But it, it, it take it take time though because you don't have to you have to adjust it like that. You have to practice like this. Just like that. You try to master that as far as you can go with that shit, man. You straight. What's up, cuz? Uh, yeah, once you start doing that, you're good to go. Then you start doing like, then you, then you, after you start mastering that, you gonna strengthen your arms and shit. Yeah, yeah, And another thing, when I do, the reason I'm doing so many left, left that I'm doing is because I'm at the, at the end of my workout. So. I already did a whole bunch of pull-ups already today. I'm just recording the end part. See, that's the part when I get tired. That's my second breath. Some people that ask me like, some people ask me like, how to, you know, what I'm saying how I lose weight from 254 to making it. I was weighing 254 and now I weigh 231. I might, I might wear less than that now, but what I did was is I ate cleaner foods. You know what I'm saying? I didn't eat a whole lot of microwave food for once. Uh, I ate more baked food instead of fried food. Uh, and I did in, uh, intermittent, it's called intermittent fasting. And intermittent fasting is you don't starve yourself. What you do is, is you're, you're more disciplined on which, you know, what time you eat. 
So like say yesterday, I fast. Oh, see Friday, I say Thursday. I think I, I ate from five to probably six or seven. And then I stopped. Then I didn't eat to the next, till Friday, about five. I didn't eat nothing the whole, that whole day. Friday. Right? Then I did that same thing. Cause I, thought, I was thinking today was Saturday, but today's Sunday. So I did the same, exact same thing. Peace, fam. Peace, Robert. Yeah, I did a, uh, I, I, I did my intermittent fasting on uh, that Friday, which I mean, I did the whole week, but I went from No doubt, no doubt, fam. Same to you and your family. And uh and uh yeah, I did intimate fast but all the way to I did it every day, but I stopped eating. I didn't eat nothing the whole day till five o'clock. Then when I ate at then at five o'clock, I probably ate all the way to probably six or seven, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Until I got full and I was done. And I did the same thing Saturday. Saturday, I did the exact same thing and eat to five. Now, to this day, and today, I ain't ate nothing. I ain't eat anything. I just came out here and work out. But some people, you know what I'm saying, they can work out by eating and shit, but not me, though. I don't do that. I, I, I think you can burn more fat when, you, uh, when you're not eating. So... So I came out here this morning and started working out, start running, jogging, uh, some stuff I didn't put on, jogging, jump rope, stuff like that. You know I'm saying to burn, you know, jump rope will help you burn calories real quick, and it can get your blood flowing. So I did that, did a couple one, did like a couple laps, ran around, jog, and I did push-ups, sit-ups. Uh, pull-ups, dips, uh, uh, doing st uh, steel thing, holding on the thing. I call it, I call it a steel on the bar. Hold yourself on the bar. Do that. That strip you all the trip your whole core. Like I said, the intimate fashion is where it's at. But uh, you no, know, some people think it's you starving, but really it's not. Uh, the reason why I started doing that because I wanted to be more disciplined about uh, eating and shit. You know, because ever since I did the intimate fasting, I might have been doing this for a while. I don't know. I don't know when the first day I, first time I started doing the intimate fasting. I might, I, I might be doing this for like a week or two, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe it might be two weeks now. But. I forgot, but I have to. You know, I have to go back and. Matter of fact, I need to look at that when I start doing that. But yeah, I start doing that, and every day, all day, all day, I drink. I drink water. I get a gallon of water. I buy, it. and and it's and it's cheap on. I'm cheap on my meals. My I don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Imagine that, I don't even spend a lot of money. What I do is, is I get a gallon of water, I buy uh, the star water, it costs like 98 cents. I drink that, drink water all day, and I get green tea. I, I buy me green green tea bags, warm it up, drink it in the morning, drink it all day, drink, drink that shit all day. They got caffeine in it, so I don't get hungry. But I don't even be hungry, like, because now once you start doing it, when you when you start doing an intimate fasting, you don't become hungry no more, because now you don't waste, you know, what I'm saying you don't washed out all the, you don't washed out all the uh, the adjectives and the, and the preservatives and stuff that be in foods. When you, you start doing that, you start a toxic, you start, you know, your body start 
uh, toxin, uh, taking the toxins out your body. And then when it starts taking out your body, you don't crave for certain things no more. So now I can sit in a room, people eating a meal, and I don't, I, I don't even have to, you know, some people when they hungry, they just be looking at your meal, looking at your food. I don't even be like that, I just be normal. I just keep drinking water by drinking my green tea and I'm good to go. So I was watching in Japan, how they, you know what I'm saying, how they, how they move around and they walk everywhere. So I kind of study that a little bit. So it been kind of working, you know what I'm saying, pretty good. And then, you know what I'm saying, after I, after I do all my workouts and stuff, you know what I'm saying, I'll take, take breaks. Like uh, for three days, I didn't work out for three days. I let my body heal. You know what I'm saying? Let all my body heal. And then that's that's why now I come out here now and hit the hit the bar and don't even and don't even feel it. You know what I'm saying? I can hit the bar all day long. Sit out here and do it all day because now I didn't I didn't uh, got me enough rest. The key to, key to working out is actually getting rest. What happens is in, in life, you know what I'm saying? If you look around, look at the people around you, they not getting no rest. They out here, they stressing. So I get my, I get my, uh, uh, my rest. So if y'all don't really see me, you know what I'm saying, online or nothing like that, or you might see me online or something like that, maybe, maybe I might be looking at something, but at the same time, I'm trying to get rest. You know? Because that's the key, that's the key to your health is getting rest. And that's just what's up. Yeah, I, I you know what I'm saying, I already boxed it up, you know what I'm saying? And you don't need that much time to work out. People get it twisted. They be thinking like, you gotta work out for two hours and shit. You ain't gotta work out for no two hours. You work 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Do that a day. And you calculate that 45, you know what I'm saying, times seven or 45 times five, you know what I'm saying? That's how many, you know what I'm saying? Minutes and hours that you got. So. That's what you do, you know what I mean? So that's what people wanted to know what I did, that's what I did. I didn't do nothing else. I didn't I didn't do I just I just control, you know what I'm saying? I, I eat. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't eat a lot. I might eat certain certain type of fats, but there ain't gonna be a whole lot of fats. But I have you gotta have fats. You gotta have carbs, you gotta have fats, you have to gotta have proteins. That's pretty, that's just that's just what it is. Keep your body moving. And what, however you get it. And another key thing is, I tell anybody, eat you some sweet potatoes. I'm telling you. People sleeping on sweet potatoes, but sweet potatoes are cheap. And you can buy them and you can cook those. Matter of fact, when I get home, I'm about to cut up some sweet potatoes and cook some. So when I when I when I get when I have time for me to eat, two things that you need. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, and rice. Right. Some people say, oh man, you know, rice ain't gonna do nothing. But if you look at if you look at go over there in Japan and look at them, look how lean they are. Matter of fact, look at matter of fact, look at them. They 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 live longer than most of the people, especially in the US. Go study Japan. Go study Japan. All right, check this out. Do a re do what you do. Do a research. Go study Japan. So I remember this dude. I'll never forget. And I was kind of, you know, what I'm saying. I never, you know, what I'm saying. I just never really thought what he was talking about. I remember going to a Chinese store, right? They gave me some food. You know, you get Chinese food. But I accidentally bumped into a Japanese store, right? I mean, restaurant. And I told the dude. I said, I said, uh. He said, he said, he said, how you doing, right? And he said, uh, how you doing? I was like, I'm doing all right. I was like, this ain't the Chinese store? He's like, nah, this is the Japanese store. I said, I said, yeah, I'm about to go over here. He said, why you, why you going over to the Chinese store? And I was like, I don't know. I just, you know, I want some Chinese food. And he was like, he was like looking at me like, he got a good food right here. Why you why you trying to eat that? 
over there. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna do nothing. But basically, basically, I say, you know, what I'm saying it's gonna fatten you up. But I didn't catch on at that time. So what I did was is I started researching about Japan. So I went on YouTube, started started researching about Japan. And one thing I learned about in Japan is everybody in that mug is lean. Ain't nobody fat. Everybody walking around, everybody doing, you know what I'm saying, doing active stuff, doing human, human shit. And in the fucking US, they ain't doing that shit. Motherfuckers walking, don't even walk around. Motherfuckers in cars every day. Then you wonder why you got fucking back problems and shit and you can't sleep. Because simple fact is, your body's not made enough to be in the punched up in the car. So, one thing I learned was, by watching them, every fucking food that they had in there was rice. You know what I'm saying? Everything they had was rice. And everything that they drunk most of the time was green tea. So, it was green tea and water. And the two things in, in life what people don't understand is is the two popular drink the, the two popular drinks in the world is water, which is one, and number two is tea. It's not fruit drinks. It's not none of that shit. It's not sodas. It's not none of that shit. It's these are the two things: water and tea. Now, if you start drinking, if you start drinking water in the morning time. Or you drink tea in the morning time, kind of warm, then guess what? Yo, your awareness is going to be bigger, and you're going to understand stuff more. You ain't going to be all out of whack and dysfunctional and imbalanced. So that's what you have to do. You have to do that. If you want to start working out or something like that and try to get your, you know, set yourself in fit, that's the only way you're going to be able to do it, man, by, by um, changing your uh not just a, saying that a diet, but just, you know what I'm saying, just changing a different way you way you eat. That's all you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And then you, you'll, know, you'll know, and then you'll, you'll, cause like what people don't really understand is they, they caught up in technology, right? And technology is not, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's okay, but it's not, it's not your, it ain't your survival. You know what I'm saying? Once you realize that you cool, but technology is not your survival. And you have to realize that you guys are now on your, on your human skills. And your human skills is based like this. It's three things that AI and technology can't do. Number one, computers cannot be creative. Always remember that. Number two, computers don't have an imagination. And number three, it can't it don't it, it, it can't make strategies and it can't strategize meaning. So once you understand that them three things, you in you empower yourself. So one thing in the world what they try to take away is your creativity, your imagination and take away your strategies so you won't strategize so they don't want you they don't want you to come up with no ideas you know what i'm saying so that's what i have learned i'm saying i study in this shit. but one thing about you know what I'm saying working out you have to you have to be consistent in what you're doing and you got to keep learning stop you know what i'm saying Stop looking for somebody to help you out because it's not that you, you folks are programmed. And once you realize that people are programmed, they'll say anything. They'll say that they they they'll, they'll say some shit like this. They say like, yo, this person trying to stop me from doing this, and this person trying to stop me from doing that. And it's really it's not that person. It's really you. I'm just, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going with, I'm just going with my tremendous change. Shout out everybody in the temple of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? What it is, I'm up here, you know what I'm saying? Practicing my stuff, you know what I'm saying? Practicing the age law, for real. Getting it, you know what I'm saying? Getting down to the facts. Since, you know what I'm saying? Since the theme is focus, that's what I'm on. Focusing in the end. For all my temple members, y'all already know. If you go read on, on, on a thing, 
at the end of uh, at the end of uh, of all the things that's on there, it says it says exercise. See, I'm starting from the bottom. You, you go read that part. You start from the bottom. I'm coming up. So, y'all see what's gonna happen. So I'm just you know what I'm saying getting these goals, setting these goals. So y'all know what's up. That's why y'all ain't been, y'all really ain't been seeing me too much, man. I'm just been, I've been trying to focus and try to, you know what I'm saying, get to this, get to, get to this, be serious about my hip hop, homie. Being real serious about this shit. You know what I mean? That's all I'm doing. But yeah, that's what you do, man. If you want, if you're going to do that, I mean, I, even if you, you know what I'm saying? Even, you know what I'm saying, for you to even rhyme or whatever you're trying to do or make beats or whatever you're trying to do, anything in hip-hop that you're trying to do, I'm talking I'm talking to my people, my hip-hop people. To all y'all out there, you know what I'm saying, that's, you know what I'm saying, you're still, still struggling on what you're doing. What's happening is, is, you know what I'm saying, you got to get that tempo right. You know what I'm saying? Because look at most people, you know what I'm saying, their health ain't right. You know what I'm saying they showing you money and shit, but they ain't showing you me. You know what I'm saying? They don't. It's, it's it's a health thing that's going on too. And you got to realize that once y'all figure that out, you know what I'm saying. Once you understand your health, you can get the money. But one thing I had watched, y'all, I was watching uh Drink Champs, and y'all go watch Drink Champs. Go watch Drink Champs to see um Damian John. Go go check you out. Listen listen to what he say. And. And all the temple members go check it out. You know what I'm talking about? Because everything the teacher just said, he's saying the exact same thing. So watch. I mean, just, just listen to listen to uh, what they what he's saying basically. But one thing he did say in there, he said, uh, he said a lot of people that be in the party. You know, I mean, he, he he be around people and shit, right? And they be talking about how much money they spend on on, on parties and shit, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know how people, folks be, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, I be spending my money, you know what I'm saying? Doing that. You know how people do that, right? And he said he was around people that's billionaires. They weren't talking about how much money they spent. They was talking about how much money they gave. They was bragging about how much money they gave. That's a, a, that's a totally different, that's a whole new perception. That's a whole new way of looking at something. Imagine that. So, there's no big deal, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be trying to tell people, get your health right, homie. When you get your health right, all your ideas will come to you. And, you know what I'm saying? And you, and after you be working out, man, get you enough sleep as you can as possible. Fuck what somebody else is talking about. If they sitting there telling you, yo, they telling you, yo, man, you got to work out. And then, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, don't get no rest. And when you working out, you got to get you some rest, homie. No matter what you do, you got to get you some rest. What's up, twin? Yeah, the mother, you got you have to get you you got to get you some rest, regardless, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't get no rest when you working out, how your muscles going to grow? You ain't going it ain't going to grow cuz you going to be you know what I'm saying? They go they got the they have to, you know what I'm saying? It have to it have to get some rest. Your body has to get rest. So, so somebody telling you, oh, you know, I don't get no rest. And if you don't get no rest, you, you ain't going to grow. So you got to get some rest. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at, like I said, you look at the majority of the world, people don't get rest, man. For real. But, yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying, that's my whole thing on it. You know, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? You know, people ask me a lot of questions, you know what I'm saying, in my inbox. And I'll be like, really? i just be like, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, you know, you have to study. You know what I'm saying? You have to study different things. And then once you start to study, then you have, you have to apply it in your life. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't go chasing money. You know what I'm saying? The key, the key to life really is, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you create ideas. You feel me? You, you create ideas. And once the ideas, you know, you put the ideas into effect, 
That's what you gotta do. That's why. That's why, fam. Hey, you know, hey, sh hey, hey. That that go. Hey, that's a t-shirt right there. You just you just said one right there. Knock out them push-ups. That go a t-shirt right there, fam. Right there. You just you just said one right there. That hey, that that'll go. Trust me, that'll go right there. You got that right there. I'm telling you, exercising. All that, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, do them push-ups, man. Get them in. You know what I'm saying? And some people don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? If you just if you just doing 20 of them or doing 20 push-ups a day, that's cool than nothing at all. Cause you'd be surprised, you know what I'm saying? People don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't even a lot of people don't even walk. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's good if you walk. You know what I'm saying? But I know what it is though. Most of the time, you don't have that energy to do with it. So you got to. So what you got to do? You got to eat some shit that make you. You know what I'm saying? Give you some energy. That's why I said like sweet potato is a good thing. Like I eat some sweet potato. Like I'm gonna make me some of them right now. I can eat sweet potatoes straight up, nigga, by itself. And then they eat them sweet potatoes, man. Shit, man. Have you have you motherfucking have you ripped? You be up here. You be up here swollen as a motherfucker. You know. And I just start eating them. You know what I'm saying? And it's cheap. And if you go look up look up sweet potato benefits, like, you know what I'm saying? Type in Google uh, sweet potato benefits and, and watch what you read. And when you read, you're going to be like, damn, man, I should be eating this the whole time. Don't even know it. You know what I mean? But, yeah. But you got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your little workout on. You know what I'm saying? Get your stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what your idea is going to come, come together. When you start doing that, you're going to be straight. You know what I'm saying? That's just what you got to do. And some people just don't realize that. They just overlook that. Man, I understand, you know what I'm saying? I understand people, you know, they chase money and shit like that. But when once you, once you chase your health, feel me? Because you ain't getting no younger, you're only getting older. You know what I mean? And if I if I really if I would have known that a long time ago, I've been in a, I would have been in a better position. But now you know what I'm saying. Everything happened for a reason, so I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? I take you know what I'm saying. I keep taking it day by day. I just you know learning, learning every time. But like I said, you know what I'm saying. If you if you do an intimate fasting, if you type in intimate fasting. Is you'll understand what I'm talking about. Then you, you're going to get that energy. Because all intimate fasting is, is when you, when your fats, you know what I'm saying? When you ain't got no food in your body, right? So I'm going to give you an example where intimate fasting is. Because people think it's starving. Intimate fasting is like this. Say like, for example, say you a dude Oh shit, yeah. Mosquito shit. Anyway. Damn. That's a boss. Let me get away from this mug. But anyway, it's like this. A intimate fasting is like. Let me see. Let me sit down real right quick. I don't know if y'all can y'all can see me or not, but shit. Yeah, intimate fasting is like, like intimate fasting is like. I'm gonna show you how good it is. I'm gonna give you an example. Intimate fasting is like, say like somebody is is, is um um eating a um say they eating a breakfast in the morning, right? So they eat breakfast in the morning. Bow. I don't know, maybe seven, eight, no matter. Say so they eat, they got sausage, nigga. They eat, they got eggs, they got biscuits. Just, yeah, eggs, sausages, and biscuits. Now, a person that's intimate fasting, they fasting the whole time in the, in the morning. So, say for instance, a person start working out, right? While you while you eating that meal and then going to work out. You're not burning no fat. 
if you eating that meal, you ate that meal, that person that got that that's doing an intimate fast and not eat nothing and going to work out, he burning all that fucking fat. He burning all that fat. That's how you, you know what I'm saying? That's how you lose the fat. And then later on, you can, you know what I'm saying, put the, the uh, more cleaner fat in you that it could burn because all that storage fat, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's how people can't lose, you know what I'm saying? They can't lose the storage fat because they keep on adding on to it. You want to break it down in layers, you know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. You want to break it down in layers. And once you figure that out, that's how you know, you know what I'm saying? And you start, you know what I'm saying? You start running, you know what I'm saying? You start, you know what I'm saying? You start getting, you know what I'm saying? The fat on your neck and start falling off. You know what I'm saying? The, the fat that start coming off your chest. You know what I'm saying? That turn the muscle. All that stuff, man. It, be, it, it uh, all turn to everything. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you get, you get, you get, you get yoked, man. You get, you get lean as fuck, man. You just get, you just get, you just get big. You know what I'm saying? And you just, you know what I mean? And just keep on doing it like that. You straight. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, a lot of people, they don't know because they think you're starving. And, and they have nothing to do with starving. What they're doing it is, 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 is you being self, um, self-disciplined self about what you what you eat. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can eat two or three meals if you want to in whatever window it is. Like, it's like, you know, you can do an 8 to 16 uh, fasting. You see what I'm saying? And like, like I said, the way I do it, you know what I'm saying? You got to, shit, you got to be real disciplined in what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But I, I you know what I'm saying? I enjoy it the way I'm doing it. Some people, some people, they ain't, you know, they don't really know. But yeah, that's just what it is, man. Like, that's what intimate fasting, and that's what I've been doing. That's my whole that's my whole thing about it. And then I don't even have to go I don't even have to go hard. Like I really don't got to go hard on folks don't even know I don't even gotta go hard hard. You know what I'm saying? I don't even got to go hard and shit, nigga. And I'm I'm building like as I go. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm good. Nigga, shit, look at my legs, nigga. My, I ain't never had no shit like that, nigga. My shit is, my shit is bulking up on the head. Look at that shit. Nigga. Shit bulking up, nigga. As, as it go, nigga, I'm bulking up on the head. That's what I'm trying to tell my boy. Like, yo, my arms is getting me. I ain't never had no little fucking, fucking bangs and shit popping out. You know what I'm saying? Six pack getting strong in them motherfucker. Like shit, nigga, it's on. So, nigga, look at me. Neck action, nigga. What's up, nigga? What? <laughs> Y'all tripping. But, uh, that's just what it is, man. Like, you know what I mean? Get, get in your stuff. Yo, and stop being like, yo, that's what it is, yo. Like, you, and then you, then you wonder why your decisions and shit fucked up. Cause you ain't you ain't really like uh you ain't little exercising like man it was like like the other day it was so hot outside yo I didn't I, I wasn't even feeling it really you know what I'm saying I just had to make I had to feel like feel like it was hot cause the people I was around yo I wasn't even burning up yo I wasn't even tripping like I was like yo I could go out here and run in that shit it was like a hundred degrees I could have went out there and ran in that shit like period like there ain't nothing. But you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how it be, man. Like, you going to have to do something. Because if you don't do nothing, don't let this shit. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, shit, I'm at 40. But you know what I'm saying? Like, now, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm starting to I understand and I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the trials, the errors, and shit that I went through. That shit is straight. Because... You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of other people, they'll try to blame themselves on shit. But it is what it is, man. You got to go through that shit. But I'm going I'm going through, you know what I'm saying? Going through this shit and, and keep it moving. And 
I noticed, you know what I'm saying, I gotta get, I had to get my stuff together. Because I was, you know what I'm saying, when, when you get to a point, when you get to a stage where you can't tie your shoe, yo, when you can't tie your shoe and you and you can't actually breathe, and you breathing, and just because you, you, you know what I'm saying, just because, you know what I'm saying, you, um, you know what I mean, man, you got to figure it out. And I used to, you know what I'm saying, I used to smoke cigars, like, you know what I'm saying, that's like the homie that asked me, he was like, yo, Yo, I know you ain't been smoking, you know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, yo, I, I quit that shit a long time, I, you know what I'm saying, a while ago, man. He's like, for real? I was like, yeah, man, I was like, I had to, yo, like, I wanted to, I wanted to start exercising, you know, and I, and I know that, that, that ain't, that ain't gonna go together. He was like, yeah, he's like, for real? Like, damn, he's like, yeah, I was like, yeah, man, I was like, damn it, man, I was like, yo, that's a lot of money, too, yo, taking, you know what I'm saying, taking all my shit. Now, you know what I'm saying? When I do that now, you know what I'm saying, I save money. But you know what I'm saying, I, I always I always stop and go. So I was doing that all the time. I was always stopping. I'd go do, do something, go again, go in. But I don't think this time, I think it's I think it's over though right now. I don't think, you know what I'm saying, I feel the best that I ever felt. Like I feel the best right now. I feel the best. I feel the best of my life. Feeling you know what I'm saying? I my body and shit, yo. I ain't never felt like this. Even when I was younger, yo, I never felt like I never felt like this. Like I felt, you know what I'm saying? I had I had the energy and shit like that, but yo, I feel good. Like, yo, I feel like I'm like a couple, like I got a couple years knocked off of me. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. Like, yo, like I'm 40, yo, I feel like I'm like 28 or something, yo. 25 or something. Like body wise, I don't feel like I'm forty, yo. Like people be doing my man, I feel like I'm you know, older and shit. Nah, nigga, I don't even feel like that, nigga. When you exercise, yo, you don't feel like shit like that. When I get my what's called, I'm about to show y'all how I used to shoot hoop too. Bro, bring it back. Get on the court. This is crazy. To do, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm working on, an, I'm working on another album. So shit, you know what I'm saying? Get back in the process. I want to see how this feels. You know what I'm saying? Actually exercising and then getting the booth. You know what I'm saying? And coming up with ideas and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like damn, they got, they got lean as fuck. But you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I just got my stuff going on, man. I don't even know what time to see what time it is. This is like 11 out here. So it's like 11 and shit, man. I got like 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I got six more hours to eat. And I ain't even tripping, really. I ain't even hungry. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. I'm just, man, I'm just having just getting lean as hell. I feel good about myself. Shit. I don't give a fuck about all that shit. Like I said, motherfucker, you can go out there, like niggas sit there, you know, anybody can sit there, you know what I'm saying, talk about money and shit. You can talk about that shit all you want, yo. I don't give a fuck about that shit. You ain't pressing me, nigga. Press me, nigga, when you do some motherfucking. Matter of fact, nigga, fuck it, I'm just gonna go on and do some, nigga, I might just do some push up, you know what I'm saying? Let's do some push-ups and get some, you know what I'm saying? Since the homie, you know what I'm saying? The homie wrong, it's wrong. Uh, that might be Ty wrong, one of the twins. One of the homies and shit. I might just need to go on and just get some push-ups in. Why he, he getting some in, I might as well get me some in myself. Shit. Fuck it. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I'll let y'all check out some of my push-ups I do. Yeah, that's the homie twin, one of the twins. Shit, matter of fact, if you see, you know, if you see the comment on there or whatever, the homie twin, he got shirts for sale. You check that out. He got shirts for sale. You know what I'm 
I'm saying? Just eat y'all uh, inboxing. Inboxing here. He'll tell you where to go get it. But he got some he got some he got some dope shirts. Damn. <sighs> 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 Tight. kind of tight right now. I've been doing push-ups all day. But, yo. But, yeah, man, you got to you have to do something. thing man you can't be yeah you can't be worried about uh what other people be thinking because what they try to do they try to throw you off you know what i'm saying so get your workout in you know what i'm saying i don't care what you're doing you gotta do something because what people try to do, they try to throw you off. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep on, you know what I'm saying? I keep moving with mines. But yeah. But gotta make that, you gotta make that transformation. You know what I'm saying? Because like, for example, if you one of those type of persons that feel like, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you, you feel like you ain't got it no more, or, or you feel like you, uh, that you lost a lot of, you know what I'm saying, uh, that's right, yeah, you gotta do that, yeah, get that walk in, once you start getting that walk in, you gonna get that run in, you know what I'm saying, then you gonna be running, then when you get to running, it's over with. You just gonna you just gonna go all out. Got to make that you know what I'm saying. You got to make that a habit. You know what I'm saying. I don't even care if you got to walk in the, if you got to walk in the um to the living room to the kitchen 40, 40 or fifty times. I do that all the time. I just walk I walk pacing back and forth just to, just to do that. Cause I seen this dude on um, YouTube. He was like I think he was about six hundred pounds. I think I might be wrong though. It might be 500 or 600 pounds. And yo, all he did was he walked from the kitchen to the living room. He went back and forth, kitchen and living room, back and forth. And 
when he was doing that, he was burning calories. Now, some people probably were looking at it like, yo, the hell he doing? Like, dang, that ain't gonna work. Shit, he lost a lot of fucking pounds. Then he took a he took a barbell, like a not, not a barbell, but a dumbbell. Or a barbell. No, it's a dumbbell. But he took those and sat down and, and, and start, you know, you know, curling and shit like that. And the dudes, uh, one of his, a couple of people was telling him, you know what I'm saying, he need to laugh more. You know what I'm saying? Because when you laugh, you know what I'm saying, that could, that could heal a lot of shit in your body. So that was one thing that he, you know what I'm saying, he started doing. He started doing a lot of shit, but walking, that's cool. Every, every chance you get, they try to get you at least in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it worked. I mean, I try, I tried it, and it, it got me. It got me where I'm at right now. I'm still gonna like I, I weigh 231, so I'm, I'm gonna try to get down to 200 or something, maybe, maybe 215 or something, or 200. But yeah, like two, something like that. I might get somewhere like that. I don't know. 215, 200 or something. But I want to be, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be like 90% muscle and like 10% fat. I really don't want no fat. I just want to be all muscle. So that's what I'm working on right now. But. Just, you know what I'm saying? Everything is a process, but that's what I've been, that's, that's what I'm on. I ain't tripping. Because by the time, by the time you get that, once you, once you start exercising and shit and start moving around, your mind, like I say, your mind get a little bit clearer and shit. Your thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Your, your, uh, how can I say, like your, uh, your decision making will be more, um, uh, it won't be as cloudy. You know what I'm saying? You start, you start, you know what I'm saying? Then you start creating. And then when you start, then you start, you know what I'm saying, working out, you start, you know what I'm saying, you start, you know, you start getting, you start getting you some sleep. You know what I'm saying? You'll get you some sleep and then you start dreaming. And then that's how most of your ideas come in your dreams. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of stuff, people, ideas come in their dreams. They just follow. That's why they say they follow their dreams. But just imagine, a lot of people don't sleep. So how the hell are you gonna follow your dreams if you don't sleep? That's something to think about. Or you could meditate too. Meditate is, you know what I'm saying. That's the that's the creative. That's the that's the strategy right there. You know what I mean? That's what it is. That's, I mean, this is, you know, I only, re only record this because, you know what I'm saying? I record this because I know I got friends, family, people that I know, stuff like that. I know they they, they going through the same process, going through the same shit that everybody else going through. So I know I'm going through the same shit. So I knew I was, that was my idea. I was like, yo, when I'm, when I'm going to start exercising, so like around March 26th, that's when I got my I got in. I started doing it. I started watching my homeboy, uh, my homeboy Larry though. You know what I'm saying? I went to school with him and I was like, yo, yo, he showed his transformation. I was like, yo, I could do, I could probably do that. You know what I'm saying? And he did it like in, I think he did it like in six months, maybe three months, something like that. He probably, I don't know. I got to go back and look at his page though. But yo, he, he got it in, yo. And I know it's how. How big he was, he was big, you know what I'm saying? And he was just, I was just as big as he was. And I was like, yo, you know. And he used to be like smaller. You know, when we was going to school, he was smaller. And yo, he looked like he was like he was back in high school again. I was like, yo, I gotta get my shit back. And that's what I did, man. I just I've been on it now. Ain't no stopping me now. Shit, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna 
game more and more. And like I said, you know what I'm saying, for you to motivate yourself, you're going to have to, you have to, you know what I'm saying, watch YouTubes, you know what I'm saying, people that work out every day, watch them, you know what I'm saying? And don't get like, don't get all bent out of shape because you see them at their level, you know what I'm saying? You see the, you know, they got muscles all over the place. Don't get intimidated by that. Just, 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 just to know that, okay, they started just like you started. The only thing it is, is they just never stopped. They just kept on going and they made it a habit. And once you make it a habit, you're good to go. That's all you gotta do, man. There's nothing else to it. Keep it moving like that. You know? Bro, yo, I'm going to get on. I'm um, I'm going to get off here. Let y'all know, man. All right? See Manifest, a.k.a. Sean Cochran, in the, in the building. And I'm about to go on, you know what I'm saying, to go cook these sweet potatoes right quick. I'm saying get my meal ready for, for me to eat. All right. I'm out.